Hello and welcome to my collection. This time it's time for the Mattel Intellix and Television or Intelligent Television. Great name, huh? This system was released in 1979 and was sold three, I think, three million units were sold, and I think about 125 cartridges were also released for the system. So the system was really successful, and it end, and it ended like all the consoles of this time, 1983, and the video game crash. Um, the system is similar. To a ColecoVision, you see this interesting pads. You have this little diggy thingy pack and this uh, uh, numlock, <laughs> like a telephone. Um, if you want to see some um, games, I've got not so many for the system. This is a standard package. And this is for soccer game. Very famous for on television. It came with this overlays. Um, uh, uh, how I can do it with one hand, I will be surprised. Ah, it worked. So this is the overlay for Astro Smash, and you see, so you need one, two, three, for which key uses Astro Smash is also a very great game. But I'm telling you more in detail. My games, and these are not so many, so this is just an, one video about this console. But I think that's uh, really enough. This this console is not my favorite console, but it's really it was really successful. Uh, Mattel did a wonderful job. There were some rumors about the programmers and the software designers called. Blue Sky Rangers and very hidden, very uh, secret, so uh, Atari can't do any uh, offers to them. Maybe a strange thing, but I think we are the 80s, just a little strange thing. For this system is also a voice model, there is a television too. It has also a broadband adapter, but believe me, I never saw it, just only on pictures. There's also a keyboard for the system, but this is just the old console. I think it cost on a release date 299 US dollars. Maybe someone knows it better, write it in the comments. Kami, talking about the games. This is Armor Battle. This is uh, a war strategic game, not so great. This is the best game of a system. Astro Smash is a space shooter, a mixture of space invaders and maybe asteroids. It's really great, it's really fun and uh, it changes uh, the background colors if you reach certain points. Uh, it's really good. If you get a chance to play it, it's worth it. Auto racing, yeah. It's not so great, believe me. You can skip that. Really, believe me. The next one is very famous, Burger Time. Uh, the Intellivision version is okay. It's not the best version of this game, but it's absolutely playable. If you are a fan of uh, the Data Ace, the Burger Time, it's great. It's really great. One of the surprises is bowling. This game is really good. I don't know why, but it's really playable. It's a very decent bowling game. It's a good point. It's a very good game. The other way is a soccer game that is not so my cup of tea. Uh, don't know. Um, it's not that great, believe me. Sharpshot is an interesting game. Um, it, I think it was planned for kids and uh, it's a shoot em up uh, collection. It's okay, it's not the greatest game, but it's playable. Snafu, very famous from 
Snake from Nokia. This is a very good version. This is very playable, very funny, very good. Um, well, it's not so great, but it's a whole, the problem for the most games. Uh, these controls are not so decent. But this is a very good game. Talking about very good games. Space Armada is... Uh, Rip off of the famous Space Invaders, and this version is not so great. It's very famous, it's um, very famous for its sprites, but it's not so great, believe me. Uh, but it's Space Invaders. Space Battle. You know, like the nerd said, everything started with Space in the 80s. Uh, it's not the greatest game. It's it's an okay shooter, but nah, you don't really need that. Same thing goes for Space Hawk. It's okay. It's playable. It's also a space shooter, but mm, it's not that great. Star Strike, uh, the first 3D uh, space shooter. It's interesting. But it's not so playable. I think it's it's very good for the system, of course. It's it's very an old game, but it's not it's not one of the best games, believe me. Very interesting. If you're interested in compilations, Triple Action has three games on it, all racing games. Um, as a cartridge for free games, it's worth it. As a game, it's not that great, believe me. Uh, no. Utopia. Um, maybe you can call it uh, the prehistoric uh, Starcraft. Um, this is an. Um, maybe you can call it the RTS. Um, it's really interesting. It's some way playable, um, and I think for the time it's very very great. Uh, but it's it has a lot of issues with the controls and um, I'm not so huge fan of it but as a concept it's really great. The last thing also a very strange game Vectron where you can't move but you can shoot in this game. Um, it's a shooter that is really strange but it's really unique because it's very different to the most shooters so if you're interested in um, Strange games, this is your cup of tea, believe me. And for the people who said, oh, I want to a uh, little bit uh, about the television, but I'm not so interested, there was a um, compilation for the PS2 and television lives. This is not the greatest compilation of uh, the most games, but it's playable, it's interesting, you get I think two videos about documentary, like a documentary for the system. So if you want to uh, learn something about the Mattel and television, this is your way. So this was the video. I don't have more modules. I think Subhunt is coming, but uh, it was chipped until this video. So uh, I do it next time or next videos. If you want to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment like it, whatever you want. If you want to see something or see from my collection, please leave a comment and we'll see what happened next week. Have a nice day. Bye bye.